Welcome to NASA's Summer of Innovation Lesson Support Videos. I'm Dr. Shirley Campbell, and this is Properties of Matter, NASA Student Glove Box. In this video, we'll focus on the second half of the Student Glove Box activity, the droplet investigation of liquids. Experimenting on substances in space can be dangerous in different ways than it would be here on Earth, and most activities take at least three times longer. Items and tools would float around since there's no gravity to pull them to the ground. A NASA glove box is an enclosed space lab with arm ports for conducting experiments that need to be contained to protect the experiment results or to keep the space station environment free from spills or fumes or other hazards. NASA's glove boxes allow astronauts to contain substances they are examining so they can experiment more effectively. The NASA Student Glove Box lesson is designed to help students understand how some experiments are done in space by providing opportunity for them to perform some activities similar to those carried out by astronauts. The guide for the NASA Student Glove Box provides easy to follow steps for creating a glove box for your classroom. This video provides directions for carrying out the experiment included in that guide. In this video, options for additional interesting activities to carry out with your student glove box are also provided. Before carrying out experiments using the NASA student glove box you've built, and especially the droplet investigation of liquids, it's a good idea to review scientific process, the designing of effective experiments, and ways to communicate data using tables and charts. Also important in preparation for the droplet investigation of liquids activity, plan to spend some time discussing the properties of liquids, such as how different liquids and materials interact, surface tension, and viscosity, so students will know what to look for while making observations. This list of materials can be found on page 16 in the guide, located by clicking on the link in the lesson plan. The liquids and fibers listed here are suggestions. I encourage students to try these and others. Also, if you choose to use rubbing alcohol or other liquids that produce strong fumes, be sure that the room is well ventilated. A real NASA glove box would protect against those fumes. You may want to send a note home a week or two ahead to ask families to save and send in some of the materials you'll need. Students learn why the physical characteristics of liquid fuels are important and why NASA would need to know how best to suspend droplets on a wire in this activity. Students must then design their ways to hold their fibers taut and the apparatus they design must do so inside the glove box so it has to fit. The apparatus must also be flight safe, meaning that tools are secure and held in place and any liquids must stay contained. Students use, create, use creativity to develop their apparatus for testing and the combinations of liquids and fibers to meet the goals. Then they carry out the tests and gather the data. Students must also be prepared to answer the list of questions provided in the guide. Student teams share the processes they developed for designing and carrying out the experiments with other student teams. There are plenty of ways to use the student glove box, and each will help students to understand how it feels to work in this type of apparatus, like an astronaut. Some quick ideas to get you started. Find out how many drops of water fit on top of a penny. Have students form a hypothesis at, before beginning, and then they can use an eyedropper to add the water drops. Have students create mazes on wax paper and attempt to move a drop of water through it using a toothpick. Create an origami object. It can be one that the students have practiced outside of the glove box or a simple one that they haven't done before. Weave a paper mat, sew a button onto a piece of fabric. There are lots of ideas. Let students come up with more. Thank you for joining us as we explore together in NASA's Summer of Innovation.